many millennial viewers found the 2022 Super Bowl halftime show to be a nostalgic experience, thanks to performances by some of the biggest hip-hop musicians of the 1990s and 2000s including Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Eminem, and Mary J. Blige. These music industry stars have acquired significant sums over the course of their careers. But can you guess who is the wealthiest? Number 4. Mary J. Blige Mary J. Blige, known as the queen of hip-hop soul, has recorded 13 albums in the last 31 years. She is also a successful actress, has her own perfume brand, and has an endorsement relationship with a number of large corporations like Burger King and Apple. Blitch has made a lot of money as a result of all this. She has received 9 Grammy Awards, a dozen Billboard Music Awards, and 4 American Music Awards. She has also been nominated for several Academy Awards and Golden Globes. Her perfume My Life debuted on the Home Shopping Channel in 2010 and sold 65,000 bottles in its first run. She has also signed endorsement deals with companies such as Coca-Cola, Pepsi, Gap, Apple, Burger King, and others. She has a history of financial difficulties, having owed more than $3 million to the IRS, almost the same amount to other creditors. It was revealed in 2019 that she owed the IRS an extra million and change. In 2008, she paid $12.3 million for a 20,000 square foot mansion in Saddle River, New Jersey. She did however list the home in 2015, but because she was unable to find a buyer, the price has since been reduced to $6.9 million. Number 3. Snoop Dogg Snoop Dogg, the West Coast rap legend, has released a total of 24 albums beginning with Doggy Style in 1993. His most recent album, B.O.D.R., was released earlier this month. Aside from musical sales, Snoop Dogg has made millions via concert tours, television appearances, and his own cannabis and gin product lines. Even though his album sales pale in comparisons to his heyday in the 1990s, the larger-than-life rapper formerly known as Snoop Doggy Dogg remains relevant and routinely earns 8 figures per year thanks to his lucrative touring schedule, endorsement contracts, and the sheer brand power of his image and personality. Snoop Dogg, now 50, continues to evolve, entertain, and earn millions of dollars each year. The gangster rapper turned raggy philosopher appeared alongside Dr. Dre, 50 Cent, Eminem, Mary J. Blige, and Kendrick Lamar at the Super Bowl 2022 halftime show. In recent years, Snoop Dogg has experienced unusual collaborations such as a food corporation with Martha Stewart on the VH1 show, Martha and Snoop's potluck dinner party, as well as consumer enterprises such as a cannabis company called Leaves by Snoop and a booze brand called Indogo Gin. In December 2021, he applied for a federal trademark registration for the phrase Snoop Dogs, which he claimed was his own brand of Frankfurters. Number 2. Dr. Dre Dr. Dre is a rapper and producer with a three-decade music career, but it's his financial savvy that made him a multi-millionaire. Dre and Jimmy Levine co-founded the audio brand Beats by Dre in 2006, and the company was sold to Apple in 2014 for $3 billion in cash and stock options. Dre headlined the 2022 Super Bowl halftime show alongside prodigies Snoop Dogg, 50 Cent, Eminem, Mary J. Blige, and Kendrick Lamar proving that he hasn't lost his sparkle. In 1991, the rap entrepreneur co-founded Death Row Records with Marion Such Knights from Poor Beginnings in Compton, California. After NWA dissolved in 1992, he went on to assist launch some of rap's biggest talents including Snoop Dogg, Tupac Shakur, and his own solo career. Dr. Dre's ascent to stardom in the rap group NWA was recounted in the 2015 film Straight Outta Compton, proving that the success story works well on screen. The smash hit had a production budget of $28 million but grossed $60.2 million in its first weekend and a total of $201 million worldwide. Number 1. Eminem Eminem's musical breakthrough came with the publications of his album The Slim Shady LP in 1999, which featured the then unstoppable smash song My Name Is. He has since published eight more albums, performed multiple concert tours, and appeared in 8 Mile, a film based on his real life. From the rapper's poor, unstable childhood to his ongoing feuds with his mother and ex-wife to his public attacks on pop culture icons, Perhaps the most notable aspect of Eminem's rise to fame, while breaking album and ticket sales records and amassing a nine-figure fortune, is his rise to fame while breaking album and ticket sales records and amassing a nine-figure fortune. 
Just one year after the Slim Shady LP established him as hip hottest hop star, Eminem had even greater critical and commercial success with the Marshall Mathers LP, which sold 32 million copies and became number one smash in 2000. He swiftly followed with the now classic albums The Eminem Show in 2002 and Encore in 2004, selling 27 and 21 million copies respectively. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. What are your views about Super Bowl halftime? Let us know in the comments. Like this video and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We will see you in the next video.